and welcome back to my channel Sandra can cook in today's recipe I share with you my spaghetti and rice jollof combo this recipe is really simple and easy guys and I usually do this recipe and I do not have to use rice for my jollof rice but hey it works beautifully hope you love it guys so let's get right into it so before I start with my spaghetti and rice combo for the jollof rice um, I'm going to have it served with the um, chicken as my protein so here I have to make the, the marinade ready which is my onion I've got some chili peppers here it's just medium heat chili some of the seeds have been taken out I have here my um, ginger peppercorns garlic coriander seed and honey seed I'm gonna blend all this together for the chicken part so I drop some olive oil for blending all blended and here are the chicken I'm using so I'm just going to throw on some salt okay a little salt just about half a tablespoon okay and this is all depends on how much you love your salt we all know that too much salt is not good but then again we are individual people all right so this is it. I'm not pouring the entire blend because I need half for my jello fries. I'm going to go ahead and mix it thoroughly. So I'm going to make sure all this chicken is fully covered in this beautiful um, mix of spices to marinate beautifully as well. Now I use olive oil to blend the ingredients because I find out that it takes a lot better than when I use water okay so this is just my personal observation I find it coating a lot better so I'm now going to give this a good cover and then keep it in the fridge and start with my spaghetti and jollof fries combination so the jollof fries I've got my oil on already heated I'm just going to go ahead and throw in my sliced onions and for today I'm using the red onion purple onion whichever way I'm going to get this to saute or fry down a bit to get out the sweetness So we leave it to fry. So the onions have been frying for just about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of the blend. So there's the marinade I use for the chicken. I'm using four tablespoons into this one. And I'm going to fry it down so it separates beautifully. The separation will tell me that it has fried. And there's no more um, liquid in it. Go ahead and squeeze in my tomato puree, okay? And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of it, two full tablespoons of tomato puree. And then give it a good stir to also fry down. Now I've already blended my tomatoes for this recipe, and I used two tins of plum tomatoes and four fresh um, tomatoes as well so the liquid from rinsing my tomato can or tin is what I'm pouring into the tomato puree okay. I'm going to allow this to boil for about two minutes after two to three minutes I'm going to add a teaspoon of my chili powder this can be optional if you hate um, chili or too much spice okay I just want a little kick in there the love and spaghetti combination right from here I'm gonna go ahead and add my blended tomatoes so these are just um, tomatoes tin one and fresh ones as I've already mentioned okay. I'm going to raise the blender and add it to it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going, I'm going to leave this to cook down. See, so we cover it beautifully. So now it's time to put our chicken into the oven. Put the oven on gas number um, 250. And we will just sprinkle a little to dash some olive oil in here. So after 10 minutes, this is where our beautiful stew is heading towards. And as you can see, it's so liquidy, the not ready for the love. So we're going to allow it another 10 to 15 minutes to reduce it. And then we can now add our spaghetti and rice for our combo. Our next 15 minutes, let's see. Ooh! This is coming up really, really well. I'm going to just throw in my seasoning powder. And this is the chicken seasoning powder. You can use whichever you want. It's looking good, but it's still not there yet. So another 10 minutes and hopefully we are good to go. Final check. Yay! Now I forgot to tell you guys that Depending on your bowl or cooking pot, your saucepan, pardon me, you will need to keep stirring your stew intermittently. So, say about every two minutes, you give a stir to avoid it burning badly. Okay? Now, my pot is quite okay. I left it for 10 minutes, then I've just got kind of a little, 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 little burn. That's in here. So, depending on your cooking pot or saucepan, please. Stir the stew intermittently. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my rice and add my spaghetti and off we go. Now one way to tell that your stew is ready for the jollof rice or the what I'm doing is to see that the stew is separating from the oil. So as you can see, it just comes off nicely. So at this point I go ahead and add my rice. Now I usually do this combo when I do not have enough rice at home rice. I love it, but mostly when I don't have enough rice when I apply this recipe. So the rice is in, I now go ahead and add my spaghetti. Now that I've added the spaghetti, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good stir. I go ahead and sprinkle about a teaspoon full of salt. Okay. And then add some warm water just to soften the entire combination. So not too much because as you can see the stew has affected it completely. So just a little water. If it's not enough, you can add some more. Okay, so this is quite a bit too thick. Add some more water and then give it a good stir. I give it a cover and turn the fire down to the lowest to avoid it from burning. So we leave this till it's all cooked or kind of almost ready. After three to five minutes, I've come to check how this is going and it's going well. So from here, we did not cover this beautifully with the kitchen foil. You can equally use a kitchen towel to do this covering, just so the heat is maintained is there in there to help it cook well and faster. Okay, now before I put the rice and the spaghetti in, I have to scoop the oil on the top of the stew. Okay, so now we're going to cover up beautifully and allow this to cook. Let's see. Put 
still on the way, not there yet. about three to five minutes and it should be ready. Final check and yay! Our spaghetti and rice combo is ready and my chicken is also doing very well. So I'm going to give it a taste so I can give you guys a very good feedback. Okay, this is all done. Let's go ahead and save this. All done guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead and give a button. And like come away again with Sandra and bye.